Safety on the homestead is important, especially for our livestock. They can't know when something is unsafe, so it's up to us to make their environment as safe as possible. But there are other dangers that may not come across your mind. Getting to the farm. Hi, this is Sue with Get to the Farm. Safety on the homestead is important especially for our livestock. They can't know when something is unsafe, so it's up to us to make their environment as safe as possible. Horse owners have a saying. Horses are beautiful. They're born and then they spend their days trying to commit suicide. They can tell you stories about the many bizarre circumstances they found their horse in. Cuts, scrapes, and injuries. Catching their halter on a protrusion, pulling back and breaking their neck sliding down a hill and getting stuck between trees. Find them standing with their hindquarters stuck over the top rail of the gate. The list goes on and the vet bills get higher. Naturally, we have cleared out all their pens, looking for safety hazards, nails that can cause injury as well as debris that can multiply the chance of an animal becoming stuck. But there are other dangers that may not come across your mind. Consider the placement of lighting in windows. An excited animal can break lighting fixtures, getting shocked, and may try to escape the stall by jumping out even a high window. All windows should be covered by heavy wire mesh or grating. Dutch doors should have a screen or wire door that covers the open top part. Free range chickens are great, right? Until you go out to check the level in the water trough and there's your hens floating in the tank. Must have gotten up there to get a drink, even though you keep a pan of water out for them. Fell in, got water soaked and drowned. There are plans online for wire mesh to help save sage grouse in cattle troughs on government land. Or try putting a cut section of hog panel or cattle panel in the trough. Support the wire with 2 by 4 so the wood acts as a float. The animals, large and small, can drink, but poultry can get a footing on the wire and hop out. Think your waterfowl are safe from horse troughs? Ducks and geese can fly or hop into a trough, but may be unable to get back out again. I've seen geese trapped in a bathtub horse water trough. They couldn't get out since the sides were so slippery. Even a horse, goat, calf, or foal can get into a large water tank and be unable to get back out again due to the slippery film that grows on the bottoms. Trap Hazards Horses and other small animals can get stuck in what appears to be very small spaces. A horse can get a hoof caught in a space as narrow as two inches. Portable panels have been designed to minimize the chance of trapping a hoof, but pay attention when you're building your own pens. A hen can get a foot caught in a narrow space between the roosts and the wall, so keep an eye out there too. And not just limbs can be trapped. Leaving a halter or collar on greatly increases the chance of an animal getting hung up on something. This leads to our part two of farm safety, halters and tying coming soon. Bonus tip! Electric net fencing is a handy item to have on hand to graze your animals in areas that you don't have permanently fenced. Be sure to train them to a small chunk of charged net inside their regular area so they can learn how to cope with it without escaping. That way they'll be confident when they're out inside the netting. I hope this short video has given you some ideas to think about safety for your animals. You've put a lot of time and monetary investment into them and they need to be kept safe. Please comment below if you have had any situations that you had to remedy the design of your pen or where your animal may have found loopholes in your pen design.
Thanks for all your wonderful comments. Please like and share. And if you're not already, hit that big red button to follow our adventures as we get to the farm. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm.